Simon, congratulations. I'll get to the team performance. You're on the bench there in the final five minutes. How did you handle the pressure? There was a lot to, riding on that in a big week. Yeah, look, there was. It was, um, you know, it was just a, I went down to the bench at the end of every quarter um, more just to get a feel from our players about the game and continue to share with them what we're seeing in the game. Um, so, yeah, that was, a, that was a nice experience. But, yeah, look, the end was nice. It was nice to share it with the boys down there. Nathan Jones, three goals tonight, including a vital one in the final quarter. It looked like you went up to him like a lot of players at three-quarter time and gave him a bit of a, a rev up or a message. Uh, what did you say to him? Oh, look, at, you know, for our club, our leaders are so important. And, um, you know, they've been working incredibly hard, our leaders and also our players, to, to really work on the things in our game that will get us back playing the footy that we know we can. And, um, they've been really important. So it was just a message to them that they've got to keep driving the group and keep driving the things that were, you know, had changed in the game for us and were keeping us in the game. So that was the real, the real message for those guys. Do you think you guys have rediscovered the intensity tonight that uh, you became synonymous with, particularly in the latter part of last year that was so successful? Oh, I think it was a step forward for us. You know, defensively, I thought we were really sound. I thought we, we used the ball in a way that aided our defence and... Um, and helped us at the same time. So there were things in our game that I really enjoyed, but there's still lots of work on. You know, we, we managed to keep, I think it was for three quarters, we kept them to 44 points, which was a, a really big step forward for us as a footy club and something that we identified early in the week as a club that we wanted to, to try and rectify. You spoke about defence, Simon, and we must have been pleased with the defensive effort early on. Yeah, look, I thought our, certainly our intent early was there. We just didn't get the rewards. It was still a little bit clunky in the way we were going about defending but as the game wore on I thought we were really sound um, and that was really enabled us to get some some dominance in the areas that we, we know we can you know I thought clearance work gradually improved our ability to hunt the opposition at contest level improved and um, yeah we got ourselves back playing but you know as I said there's still a a huge room for improvement in our side. Just two points on Max Gorn. Dominated the hit-outs early, but you guys didn't necessarily win the clearances, but you made an adjustment and almost got used to it. What, what was the key message there? Yeah, look, we made some adjustment, but we picked the two ruckmen for a reason. You know, we wanted to keep the, the intensity around the ball and, and continue that ruck dominance. And, you know, you know, midfield coaches, you know, Justin Plath and Ben Matthews made some adjustments, you know, throughout the first quarter. And um, they took a while to kick in, but we started to get some real dominance around the ball. And I thought there were some really sacrificial acts from our midfielders around the ball. Um, especially the guys that were getting tagged. So, um, you know, we, we actually started to really work together as a team and, and that's something that we really focused on is how can we actually help the team in, in every phase of our game and I thought our midfielders were great at that. Just one more on Max. I think he had more than 50 hit-outs but didn't take many marks tonight. Was that a specific instruction in terms of how you were aiming to play? No, nah, look, Max, Max sort of played a lot, a lot in the ruck. You know, we played Prusy Ford um, late in the game. He was behind the ball. But for the majority of the night, he was, he was in the ruck. And I thought, you know, he saw the will of Max going at the end of the game. You know, he wanted to win. And as a leader, he stood up and started to take some marks for us. The, um, what was the fuss of your message at quarter time? Because it didn't look like it necessarily filtered through immediately to them. But something flipped the switch there in the second quarter. Their intensity lifted. Um, what, what happened, basically? I felt like we were defending um, the way that we wanted to, but we probably weren't using the ball in a way that would aid that. So, um, you know, we gave it back to them way too too easily. So um, I think our ball movement matched the way we were trying to defend. And, you know, as our defence stood up over a period of time, we were able to sustain that for a longer period of time. So um, that certainly helped by straightening up a little bit of how we moved the ball. Um, but our defensive mechanism was strong for the majority of the night. Good. He's Christian Petrarca's players like... Um, before they went out there, because before the siren, there, were, there was a bit of push and shove and a bit of lift. Um, so they looked a little bit angry, like they wanted to do something tonight. Oh, well, I think you get to a point, you know, when you're zero and three, that you know you've enough's enough. We want to we want to play, um, you know, our brand of footy. And as I said, this was only a first step for us, is to get ourselves back defending in a way and and hunting the opposition around contest errors and. Um, as I said, I think it was a step forward for us, but we still know we've got a lot of work to do. The mentality for our group um, right now is to how, how, how much can we improve and how can we get better. And um, they were adamant right from the start of the week they wanted to improve the defensive aspect of their game, and, and they did that. Christian's come under the microscope, Goody, Christian Petrarca. Do you think it was a good confidence booster for him? He kicked a ripping goal, and uh, he looked good from the get go. Yeah, everyone's come under the microscope, haven't they? So, <laughs> um, you know, so that's, uh, you know, Christian a couple of weeks ago, and I thought he's since, uh, I think, round two, when he, he certainly got scrutinised a lot. I think he's been sensational the last two weeks. Um, and he's getting a reward for his effort now.
Um, he's winning a lot of one-on-one -on -one contests. He's working really hard. He's developed a few techniques to get off his man, and um, I'm really liking his game at the moment. So what about Braden Proust tonight? Those goals that he kicked early on? Yeah, look, he's a presence for us. You know, he's, he's straightened us up down forward. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's a big man. So you kick it into him and he's, he's going to be a handful for a lot of teams. And it just enabled us to keep the heat on around the ball for a little bit longer and support Gorney. Um, and Gorney's done a power of work for us for over a year now uh, with not a lot of support. So it was great to see Braden come in, play his role incredibly well and, and gave us a great target. Will you stick with that goody or is that... Uh... Well, didn't he, particularly in the, uh, what, the end of the first quarter, beginning of the second? Yeah, he, he, got, he got a bit of a hit on his shoulder and um, you know, he'll be fine though. He'll, he'll work his way through that over the next eight or nine days. But Will you stick with that right combination with Gorn and uh, Proust or is that specific for certain circumstances? Oh, I wouldn't see why we wouldn't right now. Um, it worked for us now, so um, I'd, be, I'd be assuming that that would be the way forward for us. A lot made of the surface, Dan. I know you wouldn't worry about it now. You've had a win, but uh, what did you make of it? Was it a little bit slippery or was it a, -a okay from your Oh, it's just dewy. Yeah, it was slippery. Yeah, it was like wet weather footy out there for the majority of the night. So, um, yeah, I thought the surface played well, you know, in terms of the actual grass. So, um, obviously, there was a lot of talk about it during the week, but we trained here yesterday. You know, it was in really good shape and, you know, we were really happy to play. The two guys that pulled out before the game, now do you expect them both to be right for next week? Uh, yeah, look, uh, we do. We're, we'll just have to wait and see. On, on Nev, he's got a little bit of knee soreness, so we'll get that assessed and a little bit more work done um, and get a bit more information on his knee. Um, Jay Lockhart will be right to go. You know, he, uh, he bent down to put his boots on at training and had a back spasm, so um, he'll be right to go next week. And everybody else pulled, out, pulled up all right out of tonight's game? Yeah, look, I think uh, Oscar McDonald's got some concussion. Um, but outside of that, we're all clear. Was that... Uh, Brayshaw was okay? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.